Hello Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel where we are a community of collectors. As you can see here, the P.O. Box has been overrun with letters and packages from you guys. I always love hearing from you and seeing what you have to say, and it's also another way for me to connect with you. So to everyone who has sent something, I'm about to open it here on camera, but also thank you so much for reaching out and sending a letter telling me what you're up to, what you're collecting, what's going on in your life. So let's move these items aside. What I think I'll do is I'll start with a couple letters. I think I'll start with a couple letters and then open some packages, open some more letters and then packages. But actually, before I start with letters, I do want to open this up first. This is something from Ordinary Owl, which is Cherry Wallace's new clothing line. So I'm sure there's going to be a shirt in here that we're going to want to magically change into. Now, this is going to be a long video. Grab some coffee, grab a drink, sit back and relax and see what other Potter Collector community members are up to. Wow, nice card. So Cherry, like me, loves gold foiling. Check out this information card for Ordinary Owl. On the front it says OrdinaryOwl.com, Ordinary Owl UK for Instagram, and at Ordinary Owl on Twitter. All right, let's take a look at this. I actually saw this shirt online. It is a black t-shirt with a very simple design. It's an embroidered, very golden embroidered lightning bolt. On the inside it is branded, so it says Ordinary Owl. Very nice, simple Harry Potter or Wizarding World related shirt. This is, oh, this is her famous chocolate frog long sleeve shirt. It's actually more of a crew neck. Check this out. So there are chocolate frogs hopping around the entire shirt. The side here, nice purple color, the printing on it, so the, the frogs are outlined in a glittery gold, which is nice. And the last item is, oh yes, this is the Slug Club crew neck, and it has the Slug Club logo on it, and it was established in 1934. But I mean, look at how sparkly that thread is when it hits the light. Big thank you to Cherry for these items, and I'm excited to try this on right now. And there it is. The Gold Lightning Bolt Shirt by Cherry Wallace. Once again, if you would like to see what Ordinary Owl sells, check out OrdinaryOwl.com. All right, let's get into some letters. We've got a big stack of letters here. This is from, well, I didn't plan this, but this is from uh, my friend Melanie, who is the Harry Potter collection on Instagram. And oh, it's a thank you note. So I went to their wedding and it's a thank you note. What a beautiful card. Look at that, nice card. Little note there for me. Let's see what it says. Having you at my wedding meant the world to me. I cannot thank you and Carly. Carly, all the pretty books, uh, went to the wedding as well. Enough for your outstanding gifts and for your friendship. Thank you so much for being part of our day. Well, you're very welcome. And beautiful card, very nice thank you card. All right, we have something from Rebecca in California. And Rebecca has included this Death Eater keychain, very cool. Look at that, it has Death Eater masks on it, the front and the back, and a place to attach your keys. Now, I do wanna say with letters, I'm not gonna be able to read each one word for word on camera, but I will read them privately and pull out some tidbits to share with all of you guys. So if I'm reading parts of your letter, do know that I did read the whole thing but I'm only sharing portions of it. With your permission, of course. I am an almost 33 year old Harry Potter fan. My birthday is on August 17th. Well, happy belated birthday. I've enjoyed watching your films on YouTube, especially when it comes to the unboxings of the subscription boxes and seeing all of the different versions of the books from different countries. Have you ever attended a Comic-Con? I've been to C2E2, which is Chicago Comic-Con. You can also find some Harry Potter collectibles there. That's where I got some of my items. Very cool. Hope you stay safe and Insane and keep collecting from Rebecca, who is a Gryffindor. Well, thank you very much, Rebecca, for writing and also for including this very fun keychain. We have something from Long Beach, California. 
and this is from Owen, who is 11 years old. I've been watching your channel for about one and a half to two months now. No matter how much I want to say, I have been watching for nine and three quarter months. I see what you did there. Owen is a Ravenclaw and says, as corny as it sounds, your channel has changed me as a person and helped me get through some tough times. Keep up the good work and thank you for the inspiration. Owen, I am so thankful to know and so thankful that you said this, that this channel has helped you through some tough times. That is so cool for me to hear. And when I hear things like that, it gives me motivation to keep going with the channel. So thank you for sharing that with me. All right, we have something from California again, and this is from Brandon. And Brandon sent along some stickers, very cool, some Slytherin stickers. Look at all those characters on there. And Brandon says, I'm a big Harry Potter fan, I have all the movies, and I am a Gryffindor. I'm sending you Slytherin stickers because you are in Slytherin house. I watch your videos all the time. Well, thank you very much, Brandon, for not only watching the video, videos but for those stickers. All right, we have our first letter from outside of California, but this is also from a Brandon. And Brandon from Washington says, my sister and I are huge fans of both your channel and Harry Potter. We just recently lost both of our dogs, Aspen and Austin, within one month. Well, I am so sorry to hear that. I'm, I've am lost a dog before in the past and it is very hard. It must be very hard to have lost two dogs within one month. So know that I am thinking of you and your sister and thank you for sending a letter. All right, we have another California letter. And inside, ooh, this is cool. Look at this, this Slytherin tie made out of paper. This is super delicate. So you must have like folded this into this design. Very cool, it's almost like a bracelet. And this is from Keanu, and Keanu's a Gryffindor. I just wanna say I love your videos and I'm also a huge fan of Harry Potter. I also love your tips about the wizarding world of Harry Potter. To show my love for your videos, I created a custom Slytherin house bookmark. Keep up the great work and videos keep collecting. So yes, this is definitely going to be a useful bookmark. So thank you for this. Keanu also has a question about Harry Potter. On September 1st, do the students get to Hogwarts on the same exact day or do they get there a day later? All students are supposed to be at school on September 1st because classes start September 2nd. We have something from Megan in New Jersey. The card says, hello. And Megan says, I hope this owl reaches you well. I would like to thank you for providing a safe space for me and other collectors during this time. My anxiety and panic attacks have decreased since I've started watching your videos and I've yet to find other channels that do that for me. I've also been inspired to start collecting more of what I love because of you and I get so much joy out of it. Thank you, Megan, for saying that. And again, I'm so grateful to know that and happy to hear that the Potter Collector channel and community are safe spaces for you and probably a lot of other people. Thank you for voicing that. All right, we have something from Pennsylvania. Very cool Quidditch card. I actually have these cards and love them. This is from Leah and Leah is 10 years old. I just found your channel and love it. I have a question about collecting. When you are looking for a rare Harry Potter book, where do you look? I look for rare Harry Potter books on eBay as well as Abe books, ABE books. Also sometimes Amazon. Other places are live auction houses, that sort of thing. So if you or your family are looking for a rare Harry Potter book to add to your collection, definitely talk to your parents and say, hey, mom and dad, can I go on eBay and look for rare Harry Potter books? They are on there, you just have to know where to look. Leah also talks about getting a mystery wand, very cool, and used green ink because I am a Slytherin and Leah is a Ravenclaw. All right, we have something from Florida. Ooh, it's a little Noble Collection booklet. Very cool. So it has a bunch of little Noble Collection items in it for Potter Collector. And this is from Marcos. You are my favorite YouTuber. Well, thank you very much. You inspired me to collect and I can't wait to see your next videos. I have even memorized your intro. Marcos continues on to say, now it's time to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, keep collecting. Very cool. Thank you so much for writing, Marcos, and for sending along that little Noble Collection booklet. This is from Anna in Serbia. This came all the way from Serbia. Anna is 19 years old 
and is a Gryffindor. I've followed you for a few months now and I think that your collection is so beautiful. Thank you very much. It makes me want to have my own Harry Potter library, but I already buy too many books. I understand. Anna continues on to talk about some of the items that she received. Four years ago, I wrote a letter to JK Rowling and she wrote me back. Now I want to write someone in the cast, most likely Tom Felton or Emma Watson. You totally should. And the fact that you got JK Rowling to write back, congratulations, that's very rare. Unfortunately, I don't have their address is, but I'm sure there's got to be somewhere online that you can find them. And Anna also sent along a favorites and least favorites list. I'm just going to pick a random least and a random favorite. So favorite potion, Felix Felicis, good choice. And least favorite spell, Avada Kedavra or Crucio. We have something from Chandler. Check out that envelope and a wax seal. Very cool paper. And Chandler says, thank you so much for all of your videos. I have loved Harry Potter since kindergarten when I first finished the books. All of my family are Disney fans except me because I used to live in Orlando, Florida and we sometimes went to the Disney parks. I have gone to the Wizarding World once when I was four. I'm looking forward to going again in November. I love Disney and Harry Potter so you can definitely like both but Wizarding World of Harry Potter it's pretty darn cool. Have fun in November. All right we have something from Kentucky and this is from Leela or Layla, I love all of your videos. When I was watching your last mail video, I wanted to send you something. I am a Ravenclaw and my favorite book is Deathly Hollows. What's yours? My favorite book is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Thank you for writing. This is from North Carolina. Looks like some drawings on here. Oh my gosh. You guys, it's me. So this is from Xander. And Xander drew me in front of the Hogwarts Express. Ready to see this? How awesome is that? Let's see what he has to say. I'm a huge fan of your videos and I've been watching for about a year now and your videos encouraged me to not only keep my interest in Harry Potter but to collect myself. I just got my Sin Replicas Nimbus 2000. Isn't it amazing? It's like just a perfect beautiful replica. Thanks so much for everything you do and until next time, keep collecting. I love this drawing. <laughs> I seriously love when I receive drawings from you guys. You are all so talented and it blows me away when I see myself drawn. All right, something from Nebraska. There's something in here. There's a drawing of the Slytherin crest and this is from Jackson. I'm writing to tell you your videos are awesome and they inspire me to collect Harry Potter things. Jackson goes on to say that they have four Harry Potter books, two pop figures, a wand, and a few Legos. Keep making the vids. They keep people like me happy during these times. From your Gryffindor friend, Jackson. Thank you so much, Jackson. And here is that Slytherin crest drawing. This is from New York. Savannah says, I've been watching your channel for about a year now and I love it. I like to watch your subscription box videos. What does butter beer taste like? It tastes like a very delicious cream soda with a shortbread butterscotch foam on top. It's really sweet, but really delicious. My Sorcerer's Stone book is ripped. Where should I buy a new one? Well, if it's your original Sorcerer's Stone book, I wouldn't recommend buying a new one because that's the original book that you used to go into Harry Potter's world. So I would keep that for yourself. But if you want one for your collection, I would check on eBay. There are usually some good ones on there. And Savannah is a Ravenclaw. Here we have something from Kansas. This is from the McKay family. Dear Peter, thank you for keeping your channel PG when so many other YouTubers aren't. Thank you. You are so welcome and thank you for noticing that. I do keep the Potter Collector channel family friendly. There is a wide range of viewers on this channel. From what it sounds like, they're having a party to help encourage people to read Harry Potter, which is very cool. We're also trying to hit three birds with one stone, a congrats party for finishing the books, Malachi's fifth birthday party, James's second birthday party, all rolled into one huge party. That's very cool. So it looks like this envelope is actually like an invitation. Dear Peter Kenneth, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. The party begins on August 1st at noon until 1 p.m. So I'm well past the party time, but thank you for the invitation. Signed, Kelly McKay, Deputy Head Mistress. Very cool. I hope that your party was a big success. And then there's also a letter from Malachi, who is five years old, and Malachi signed on the back. My name is Malachi, and I am also a Slytherin. I am five years old. 
and my mama is helping me write this. Malachi and his mom read all seven books together. Very cool. We haven't had anyone sick in our town and things are starting to get better. And he talks about being very excited about that party that they had. There's going to be a photo op area, magical creatures, make your own bow truckle, play a game of Quidditch with your friends. And they also set up an Ollivander's area because everyone needs a wand. Malachi asks, what is my favorite treat? I would say chocolate frogs because I love chocolate. Thanks to both of you for writing and also inviting me to that party. That's very exciting. I hope it was a huge success. We have something from Ohio and it's from May Lynn. There is another bookmark in here. Very cool. It says Hogwarts will always be there to welcome you home. Slytherin. Of course it's happening inside your head, Peter, but why on earth should that mean it's not real? Very true. I love that. I love how these are folded. People at school make fun of me for liking Harry Potter. When I watch your videos, you make me smile. Here's a poem I made for you. All right, before we get to the poem, let's address these bullies at school. Don't let them get inside your head. No one can tell you whether or not you can or can't like something. So my advice to you is to keep your head up high and keep loving Harry Potter. Let's see what the poem says. Roses are red, violets are blue, you are a Potter collector. Keep doing what you do. Love that. And this is from May Lin with good vibes. So again, May Lin and anyone else who's watching who may be experiencing some bullying at school because you like Harry Potter. Harry Potter is awesome. Those bullies don't know what they're missing. All right, let's see what we got here. There are a lot of stamps on this letter, so I think it's from someone overseas or international. And there's a drawing. Let's check this drawing out. Slytherin rules! Yes, it does. Very cool, I like that. Let's see who this is from. This is from Scarlet. And Scarlet is 11 years old in Australia. I started to become a Harry Potter fan early February this year. My best friend and I actually became fans at the same time, and now it's all we talk about. Scarlet goes on to talk about how she went to Universal Studios in Hollywood last year, very fun, and says that you and your videos are amazing and your collection is phenomenal. Scarlet is a Ravenclaw and would really love a subscription box for her birthday in December. Well, happy birthday in December, and thank you so much for writing and sending this drawing all the way from Australia. I love this. All right, we have something from New Jersey. Oh my gosh, it's another drawing of me. <laughs> you guys, I love this. This is so fun. The Potter Collector. My name is Amelia and I'm 17. I've been a Potter fan since I was very young and have recently rediscovered your channel. Your positive energy and extremely kind and generous nature always brings a smile to my face. The content you make has inspired me to stay encouraged in the Harry Potter community. And I'm super tempted to drive to the store to buy mystery wands after seeing all of the cool ones that you get. Love from a Hufflepuff. I love the picture, absolutely so fun. Let's see, there's something else in here. We have um, a Nimbus 2000 and my favorite wand, the Elder Wand, also a cutout. Very fun, the sorting hat, we've got advanced potion making. Thank you so much for these items and I love that drawing. We have a little postcard here, it's from Ohio. Dear Peter, happy new school year at Hogwarts to us all. Sending you this card, which I find funny, from Katie. Hope you like it too. Just looking for Horcruxes, Dumble Drawer. <laughs> Benjamin from Idaho. Ben is 20 years old and wants to say, first of all, I really admire how large your collection is and I love your videos. Ben is a Gryffindor and took the Pottermore sorting hat quiz. I sometimes feel that Gryffindors are a tad bit overrated. Then I made a second account, Gryffindor again. So I figured that I shouldn't fret about it. I should embrace my inner lion. Roar! Looks like Ben has all four of the houses in their family. That's very, very fun. And the family calls his stepdad a squib because he's not super into Harry Potter. I think you guys need to convert him. Sometimes I feel insecure, but I feel so much more confident watching the movies and watching YouTubers such as yourself who love the Harry Potter franchise as much as I do. Thank you for instilling my confidence with your love of Harry Potter. I'm glad to hear that my love for Harry Potter is providing you with some confidence and a love for Harry Potter. This is from Xander in North Carolina. I wanted to give a huge update on my life. I got a lave for my birthday and have been making Harry Potter wands and I can't send one to you, but I 
wish I could. I have made about 19 wands so far and will soon be opening an Etsy shop. It's going to be called Alexander's. Very clever name, love that name. Congrats on 300K. Well, thank you very much, Xander, and good luck with your Etsy shop. Sharon from Ohio sent a letter. Oh, please do not read on video, okay. So Sharon, I am not gonna read this on video, but I am going to read it privately. Sharon, thank you for your letter. I am thrilled that you are a Potter Collection community member. That's what I'll say. Cody from North Carolina, and Cody has sent along some lenticular Wizarding World cards, and here are those lenticular cards. I love this stationery of the Chamber of Secrets door. Thank you for your channel. You have no idea how helpful it has been time and time again. Always so very informative. My brother rescued two copies of Sorcerer's Stone from the library. They're very battered and I would have had to see them thrown away. Do you know anyone I could send them to? Perhaps someone who maybe turns the pages into art? I guess one thing I would recommend, maybe if someone is watching and you would use some used Harry Potter books in an art piece, leave a comment down below. All right, we have something from Florida. Connor is 10 years old and has been watching all of the Potter Collector videos at least two times and loves them. Well, thank you very much for watching them. You have helped me get through my rough year and you have helped me through COVID-19. Well, Connor, it has been a rough year for so many people. I'm so glad to hear that this channel has helped you get through what sounds like a very tough year. Sahara from Florida. Dear Peter, my name is Sahara. I'm a huge fan of Harry Potter. I'm a Gryffindor and get so excited when I see Harry catch the golden snitch. I adore your channel. I don't think there is a minute that I'm not watching. I've always wanted a Niffler or just anything Harry Potter, in fact. Love Sahara. And there's a quote from Harry Potter that says, it's not Hogwarts without you, Hagrid. Love that quote, such a sweet moment too. All right, we have something from Idaho, Danny from Idaho. Ooh, beautiful card. Guys, look at this handmade card with the Potter Collector logo on it and a golden snitch. It says, I'm a Slytherin too. We do a special Harry Potter weekend every October. We make a lot of gummy treats, we play games and watch the movies. My dad is reading the first book to me and my brother. It's so fun. My sister read the series six times and my brother read them 11 times. That's a lot of times, but they are good books. And Danny's Patronus is an eagle, which is actually my favorite animal. So that is very cool. I love this card, it's beautiful. Well done on this. We have something from Derek, and Derek says, I really enjoy your videos before I enjoyed Harry Potter, but after your videos, my love for Harry Potter went through the roof. I hope you keep making amusing content, and my house is Gryffindor. Well, thank you very much for sending that, and I will, of course, continue making videos. Noah from Iowa. I am a proud Hufflepuff subscriber and fellow Midwesterner. I love your videos and you are a role model to me. At my school, we love Harry Potter so much that everyone has a Wizarding World name. I'm Harry. You inspire me to start collecting and I am literally wearing a Hufflepuff t-shirt while writing this. I'm 10 and finishing the fourth grade. Your biggest fan, Noah. Well, Noah, that is very cool to hear about your school and how everyone is excited and involved with Harry Potter. Tyler from New Jersey wrote, and it's just some artwork, which is beautiful. Look at this, guys. HP in yellow and black lettering. Beautiful artwork, I love the lightning bolt on the P right there. All right, we've got something from Oregon. I felt like writing something and what better way than writing to you? Well, thank you very much, I'm glad you wrote. I used to be a huge Potterhead. I would read the books in almost all of my free time, but when I went into fourth grade, it wasn't so much a fun thing to talk about. But when you popped up in my recommendations one day, it just clicked back into my head. I now make my own Harry Potter crafts daily and have a vast collection of homemade wands. I think I might go watch one of your videos right now. Sincerely, a Potter collector. That is awesome to hear that, you know, you were kind of drifting away from Harry Potter a little bit and the Potter Collector channel brought you back into the wizarding world. Thank you so much for telling me that. We have something from Canada and it's a Harry Potter pen. Very cool, look at that guys. It has what looks like some spells on it and Harry is on there. Can you speak French or German? I sort of can. I want to read the language books. I can't read French or German, which is kind of sad. I wish I could. And this is from Amber. I'm a fan of your YouTube channel. It's so awesome that you collect Harry Potter books and merch. What is your favorite Harry Potter character? 
Dumbledore. He's my favorite character. Also, do you have any advice for someone that's starting to look out for rare and different editions of Harry Potter books? My advice is to browse on eBay to see what's available, and then also that will help teach you what to look for and train your mind to spot rare books. So educate yourself. That's the most important thing to do. Have you ever met JK Rowling or Emma Watson? I have not met either one of them. I definitely hope that you get to go to Wizarding World at Universal Studios sometime in the future. And Amber says that she is a Hufflepuff. Bailey and Brian from New Mexico. Ooh, it looks like Salazar Slytherin and the Basilisk. Great drawing right there. Let's see what was written here. My name is Bailey and I am 12 years old. Me and my brother Brian watch your channel because our obsession with Harry Potter. I hope to one day see your potion collection. Yes, I will definitely do a video on the potion collection in the future. My favorite book is Prisoner of Azkaban, but all of them are really good. I was wondering if you had a put outer for your Albus Dumbledore costume. I don't. I do need to get one though. Your channel makes me happy. From Bailey and Brian. Well, thank you so much for your letter, and I'm glad to have you guys part of the Potter Collector community. We have something from Tennessee. The Potter Collector, my Slytherin Quidditch co-captain. Ooh, co-captains. Look at that drawing. Very cool. I'm Hava. I'm currently 21 years old and a fellow Hogwarts alumnus. I'm proud to tell you I consider myself a Slytherin as well. Hope you and your family and friends are doing well. P.S. Love your videos and see you at practice. See you on the Quidditch pitch. I'm gonna open one more letter and then open some packages and then come back to the letters. This is from Luca. I hope that you're okay. I'm Luca and I'm a fan from Italy. I have followed you for quite some time and I would like to tell you that I think that you are a great YouTuber and most importantly, a very fun and kind person. Well, that's very kind of you to say. The good news for me is that my father told me that when the scientists have a vaccine for COVID-19, we will take the first plane for Florida and go to Universal Studios Orlando. That is a huge, exciting goal and something to look forward to. And Luca actually lived in Canada for three years. That is very cool. Have fun when you go to Wizarding World of Harry Potter. All right, let's open a couple packages. There's a little box here I found and it's from Massachusetts. And inside is a really beautiful letter that says Peter Kenneth on the front and something wrapped in tissue paper. Ooh, oh my gosh. That is nice. This is a light switch cover. How cool is that? It's a golden snitch. And I love that these look like feathers. The snitch looks fantastic. Let's find out who this is from because I think they made this, which is awesome. This is from Kristen in Boston and she moved there after receiving an opportunity after completing grad school. I stumbled across your channel and your content has definitely helped ease the loneliness that accompanies moving to a new place. I'm a big fan of Harry Potter and I enjoy seeing all the products you have come across. I'm writing because I noticed that I haven't seen you purchase or come across a Harry Potter light switch plate. I like to spend my free time crafting, so I thought I would make you one. I really hope you like it. I love it. Sincerely, Kristen. Kristen, this is awesome. This is absolutely fantastic. And yes, this will fit my light switch in this room. Oh wait, no, oh, it won't. I will find a place for this to fit, but it won't fit on that one. I think I have a double switch switch on that one, but I will definitely find a place for this one. Love it, thank you so much. Here's something from Italy. Got a little package here. Let's see what's inside. <gasps> cool. It's the Ford Anglia and it's flying over Hogwarts. Look at that. Chan underscore 801 underscore pins. And there's some stickers also included. I'm one of your Italian fans and a proud member of Slytherin House. You are always so funny and entertaining and I love to listen to you talk about Harry Potter with so much passion. To show my gratitude, I've decided to send you a little gift. I know you really love Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets and enamel pins, so I've sent to you one of the pins I made. Wow, this is gorgeous. Well made, beautiful design. I love the Ford Anglia flying across Hogwarts. That is so cool. I also want to tell you that I always feel a little proud seeing the first print Italian edition of Harry Potter 1 in your cabinet and your entire collection of Italian editions. 
Definitely one of my favorite books, that first edition Italian book. I mean, my heritage is Italian, so I've got to have the first edition. Then there's some facts about the translation and different pages to look for and how things were translated differently. Very interesting. I'm gonna have to pull out the Italian book and go through this later. But thank you so much for this letter and for the pin. I love this. Once I get my pins all together, this will absolutely be displayed. All right, we have something that arrived damaged. Hopefully it's not super damaged. And inside is what looks like maybe a scarf. In case you stay at Hogwarts next Christmas, these gloves are great for flying and snowball fights. These are awesome. Thank you so much. And they're in Slytherin colors. Very cool. And these gloves were made by Katharina in Germany. And Katharina is 17 years old. I reread all of the books in English, but the problem is that I have nobody to talk to about my thoughts and share my excitement with. Luckily in January, I found your videos and it is great to hear your thoughts on the story. As a small thank you, I knitted some fingerless gloves. I know that you are a Slytherin, and the green is called Dark Cyan Green, and it is the color that I pictured the common room to be. I love this green color. I hope you like them. I love them, so thank you so much. Here's a package from Marco in Aurora. Aurora is very close to me, and this, oh my goodness. This is, this is the missing book. Marco says, in your recent video, you unboxed the Spanish house editions of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. It's a small token of my appreciation for your channel. I wanted to send you the Slytherin edition that you were missing in the unboxing. Thank you so much. That is so kind of you, Marco. That's, that's awesome. I was indeed missing this book. I'm actually gonna put your note inside of it so that whenever I open up this cover, I'm reminded that Marco sent this book. Thank you so much. All right, we have something from California. <laughs> it's another drawing of me. You guys, I love this. Hello there. My name is Sherlock and I'm 12 and I'm a really big fan of yours and I really appreciate you entertaining us during these times. I made you a wand. Hope you enjoy it. That's awesome. But first, I have to show this drawing. All right, let's take a look at this wand. Ooh, cool. And we have Slytherin's ring here. Look at that, very cool. And look at this wand, you guys. I love the creativity of this. Looks like you used a paper straw, perhaps? Very clever, well-painted, looks like wood. Expelliarmus! Thank you so much for those items. All right, Texas. Rachel in Texas sent something. Wow, another pin. This is, oh, this is beautiful pin too. Let's first look at these items here. Oh, cool, so it's blank stationery and the stationery shows Harry's welcome letter. Love that, so a blank stationery for me to use in the future. And it says, please don't read this letter out loud. So I will not read it out loud, but I will read it privately. Well, thank you very much for your letter and thank you for this pin. This is stunning. Look at this, you guys. It's a golden snitch pin and it says, I open at the close. Wow, you guys are so kind sending pins. I've got extra pins for my collection now. All right, we have another package here. There is a little note here that's from Mallory. I recently opened up a shop on Etsy called Dream Dweller Studio. I currently sell homemade book page ornaments, watercolor and acrylic paintings, stickers, and more. As a fellow Potter lover, I thought you might appreciate this book page ornament from the pages of Sorcerer's Stone. Very exciting, and if it's an ornament, perfect time because the holiday season is coming soon. And we have something wrapped here. Oh, this is the sticker, very cool. And it says, I solemnly swear to wash my hands. And it is the sink in the girl's toilet that we see in Chamber of Secrets. Is this like a dragon egg? Oh my gosh. No, it's a pine cone. That is nice. Look at this, you guys. It's silver and green for Slytherin. This is beautiful. I love this, how you folded these, how everything is connected, very nicely made. All right, we have something from my friends at ROR Apparel. They make some really good high quality shirts. Here's their info. They sent along a Slug Club sticker and a Firebolt sticker. So these are custom shirts and you get to choose the spell that you put on the back. On the front it says there's a lot more to magic than waving your wand and saying a few funny words. And then on the back is the spell movement and I chose Aguamenti. Cool color, great for the wizarding world of Harry Potter. Thank you guys for sending that along. This box comes from Jocelyn in New Jersey. Jocelyn says, I've been a Harry Potter fan for many years now. I stumbled onto your channel and subscribed instantly. 
You have made me collect even more with every post you make. I cannot wait to have my room solely dedicated to Harry Potter like your own. While at Target searching for more Harry Potter items to add to my collection, I found a great item to add and thought of finding one for you to add to yours. Be safe and take care and always keep collecting. I don't have this. This is cool. So it's like a Night Bus and Ford Anglia die cast model. It's like a double pack for Chamber of Secrets and a Prisoner of Azkaban. Very cool, love this. And it's made by Jada. Thank you so much. All right, we have something from Alexis and Naomi in Ohio. Looks like some art pieces. We have the Deathly Hollows on canvas from Alexis and this Slytherin themed artwork with a snake, probably a basilisk on it. And that was done by Naomi. Love those. And here is Mr. Harry Potter. And then we have, let's see, let's open this one first. This is from Naomi and it says, I love your videos, I subscribe to you. I would like to meet at Wizarding World hopefully someday. I hope that happens. If you see me, definitely say hello. My favorite character is Hermione and what is your favorite character? And creature. My favorite character is Dumbledore and my favorite creature is either a Thestral or a Hippogriff. Thank you so much for writing Naomi and look at all the stickers. I love all of those stickers at the bottom. So I think this is probably from Alexis and Alexis also included this Slytherin themed bracelet. I am a Ravenclaw and I just started watching Harry Potter around two months ago. Ever since I finished all eight movies, I was obsessed. I know the feeling. I found your channel around a month ago and watch it every day. Now I am starting to collect. You've also made me very excited to see Wizarding World one day. Who is your favorite villain? Keep making amazing videos. Favorite villain is probably from Harry Potter, Bellatrix Lestrange, and then from the Wizarding World in general, it would have to be Grindelwald. I think he's a great villain. Well, ladies, thank you so much for the artwork and your letters and the bracelet. All right, we have something from New York. Bunch of goodies. Ooh, look at this. There's a fun brown paper package tied up in string. We have a wand. Every wizard needs a wand. And every wizard also needs wizard gold or galleons. These are chocolate coins and it would make any Niffler very happy because they are very shiny. Dear Potter Collector, if you're reading this, it means my owl didn't get lost. Indeed, the owl did not get lost. I love your shop tour videos and I also made some things I hope you like. Polyjuice Potion, Wolfsbane, and the wand of Salazar Slytherin. I can now say that I am the owner of Salazar Slytherin's wand. All right, I'm very excited to see these potions. Look at this, very cool. And inside, <gasps> ooh, I see potions. I see potions, look at those. I'm gonna have to save these for later in case I need Polyjuice Potion or if I become a werewolf. And then also included is a little bow truckle. Love it. This is from Brock in Ohio. What? I don't have these. It's the Storyteller figures from Hallmark. It's Harry, Ron, and Hermione. This is awesome. Dear Peter Kenneth, these are three of the Harry Potter Hallmark Keepsake Storyteller Christmas tree ornaments made by Hallmark. Hermione Granger, Harry Potter, Ron Weasley. I hope you enjoy these three Hallmark Keepsake Harry Potter Storyteller Christmas Ornaments. Thank you so much. I have wanted to get these and I am absolutely going to enjoy them. So for those of you who don't know, you plug these into your Christmas tree and if you get like the Hogwarts Express tree topper, you can plug them in and they tell stories when you press a button. This is very exciting. Thank you so much. You've just started my collection of these items. All right, there is something from Avery and Riley in Ohio. And again, we have a brown paper package tied up in string. We are Avery and Riley, and we are the creators of 50 Bears Life, a small YouTube channel following the life of 50 teddy bears, 30 of which are from Ikea. These bears are one of our passions and recently we decided to start a project we named The Bear Project. We wanted to share our love of bears with YouTubers that we admire. We also love Harry Potter and your videos, which is why we decided to send you the first The Bear Project bear. I am honored to receive the first of these bears and excited to see what it looks like. So the Bear Project info sheet, there is a bear, a wand pouch and wand, a broom, a cauldron and Felix Felicis and Fantastic Bear and Where to Find Them book bag. So this is how it's packaged. And let's open up number one first. 
<laughs> That's awesome. Oh my gosh. This is too cute. It's a little bear and he has a Slytherin scarf on because I'm a Slytherin. Robes made by Avery and scarf made by Riley. This is going to be the wand and the wand pouch. Here's the pouch and it has a little S embroidered on it. And inside is the little bear's wand. Number three is the broomstick. Love this. This is so creative, you guys. Like, so creative. Little bear has a broom. Number four was the cauldron, I believe. The cauldron and Felix Felicis. Cauldron made by Riley and Felix Felicis made by Avery. That is a tiny bear-sized vial of Felix Felicis. And there's a little potion tag here. And then here is my bear's little cauldron. And last but not least is the book. Here is the book bag and the book, both of which were made by Avery. Look at this mini version of Fantastic Beasts or Fantastic Bears and where to find them and inside are all of these different bears and this is handwritten. This is way too cool. Here's an example of one of those pages. Everything is sized perfectly for this little teddy bear. He's got his little book bag and his wand and he's ready to study some magic. Well, thank you so much. I'm honored to be the first person to receive one of these bears from your bear project. All right, let's take a break from the packages and get back into the letters. This is from Nebraska, Voldemort versus Harry. And it's a picture of Harry's wand and Voldemort's wand. And the letter says, you have inspired me and my friends too. I've watched all of your videos and they made me hyped about all Harry Potter things. You even inspired me and my family to go to Universal. Keep doing what you're doing, never stop collecting. From your Slytherin friend, Max, in sixth grade. Max, thank you so much, and I love this paper. It has the Hogwarts crest on it. That is very cool, and I hope you and your family had a fantastic time at Wizarding World of Harry Potter. All right, Seth from Nebraska. Seth is in third grade. I love your channel and it inspires me to collect Harry Potter stuff. I'm not doing so well collecting, but I got a Hufflepuff edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Well, Seth, that is awesome. I hope that you keep collecting. I love those house editions that you're talking about. Danielle from Florida. Ooh, I see a snake drawing. Very, very scary and very Slytherin. Look at that, you guys. This is a beautifully colored snake right here. Danny writes, I'm sorry this picture is getting to you late. I just wanted to tell you that you and Cherry's videos have brought me so much happiness. I have autism and epilepsy, and on bad days your videos make them better. You have made me proud to collect and not feel ashamed to be a Slytherin. Very true. Slytherins are not bad people. On the bright side, I just got hearing aids and have named them Fred and George. That's awesome. I love that. Stay safe and keep collecting. P.S. Tell Mama Potter Collector hi. I will indeed tell Mama Potter Collector hello and thank you for sending this picture and tell Fred and George hello. I love that. I love that you named your hearing aids Fred and George. I think that's so clever. We have something from Terry in the United Kingdom. There is a little wrapped item here, but let's open the letter first. I've just started watching your video you are amazing. I always look forward to seeing them. Watching your videos made me start collecting a lot. And Terry says that they have most of the books in English, but also a couple in German. That's very cool. Thank you for sharing your books and helping everyone keep the Harry Potter books alive. Keep collecting. Let's take a look and see what this is. I think it's a chocolate frog card. It's me as a chocolate frog card. What on earth? Okay, this is way too cool. <gasps> look at this, you guys. And look at the confetti too. So it says Peter Kenneth. And then on the back it says, the Potter Collector brings happiness to each and everyone, known for his Harry Potter translation book collection. This is way too cool. I love it. Thank you. Again, I'm saying it again. You all are so creative. <laughs> this is such a fun item. All right, we have a pretty thick envelope here. This is from Jackie. I came across these items in my paperwork that I thought you might fancy. They are good quarantine activities. I hope you are doing well during these crazy times. I do enjoy your videos as you have a wonderful collection. Take care, another Potter fan from Illinois. Very cool. We have a little card here. Looks like Harry inside of the tent during Deathly Hollows, And some scholastic crossword puzzles that came out uh, when Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince was released. So crossword puzzle 
And some Harry Potter trivia. This is cool. So this must have been from the release of Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, the book. Then there's a word finder. This is awesome. This is gonna be fun for me to go through. Thank you for thinking of me and sending this along. We've got a letter from Florida. And this is from Hermione Granger, AKA Susan. Susan is 10 years old and loves Harry Potter. I first started reading Harry Potter, but the Harry Potter books when my Nana got the first one for me for my birthday. My mom started reading them to me a chapter a night. Very similar to my story, my grandmother gave me the first Harry Potter book too. When we started getting to the parts when Harry finds Dobby on his bed and the chapter ends, I begged my mom to keep reading, but she said it was time for bed. The next day, I read three whole chapters myself. I have two owls, a handmade wand, and a handmade candle that is made out of paper towel tube, three Lego figures that are of Harry Potter, you know who, and a Death Eater. And Susan's goal is to subscribe to a Harry Potter subscription box and says that the videos have helped her decide on the wizarding trunk. Keep collecting. This letter is from Megan in New Jersey. And Megan says, I'm 31 from New Jersey. I found your YouTube channel about a year ago. Been a fan ever since. I enjoy watching it. A nice break from the real world outside. I work at a food store and it has not been easy. I read the first Harry Potter book in the summer of 2000. My Aunt Lisa and my sister and I read an hour every day. Keep doing what you're doing and keep collecting. Well, Megan, I hope that people are being kind to you during this time and hope that they continue to be kind to you during this pretty difficult time for everybody. But I appreciate you sending a letter. Here's a note from Cassandra in California. <laughs> awesome. With dun, 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 another doodle of the Potter Collector. And inside it says, you have been accepted to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. These are some of the questions I wanted to ask you. Do you still have your birds? I do, Mr. Chubbs and Bird. Do you think the basilisk is a legless lizard or a snake? I think a basilisk is a snake. What made you want to collect and what was the first item that you got besides the books? Honestly, I don't remember what the first item was that I got, but what made me want to collect was the different translation covers. It was so fascinating to me to see different covers from all around the world. And Cassandra went to the Wizarding World three times, as well as the Warner Brothers Studio Tour last summer. I hope you like the drawing of you. I do. All right, Owen in Canada. There are some goodies in here. All right, this is part two, so we wanna look at part one first. I'm a very big fan of Harry Potter. When I saw your channel roughly one month ago, I was amazed. Personally, I don't collect Harry Potter because I collect license plates. That's pretty cool. And Owen talks about having been at Wizarding World of Harry Potter the day before they closed for the coronavirus and that there was like nobody there. So they basically just walked right onto the rides. Butterbeer was one of the best drinks they've ever had. And no, there is no longer a quarantine. I mean, you wrote this back in May. There is no longer a quarantine for my area, which is really good, but we should all definitely Definitely keep being careful. And if I get any license plates in the future that I don't need, I will definitely send them your way. Owen also included this, and this screen grab paused right when I was sending magic your way. And of course, because I'm Slytherin, dun 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 dun, the Slytherin crest with the Potter Collector logo in the center. Alana from Washington sent this cute little card. And Alana has been watching the videos for the past few weeks and loves Harry Potter very much. I find your videos fascinating and love your keen love for Harry Potter collecting. I'm in Ravenclaw house and love to dress up like Harry and read the books and watch the movies. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to write again soon. P.S. I chose this color for your envelope because it's your house color. Have a Harry happy day. Thank you so much for writing. I love that little envelope too. We have something from Hawaii and it's from Michelle. Michelle, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan as well. Although I do not collect, I enjoy your videos very much. It is nice to know that people who share the love for Harry Potter are out there and makes me feel less alone. You have found a way to turn on the light from your videos. I should know you have fans all over the world, including Hawaii. Keep collecting, Michelle. Well, Michelle, who is a Gryffindor, by the way, thank you very much. And I'm glad that the videos are a light to your day. All right, this is from Zane in Georgia. I started reading the Harry Potter books when I was 13 in eighth grade. I am currently 16 years old, a rising junior in high school but I love Harry Potter. Your videos have inspired me to start a collection myself, and they have also gotten me to look more into Harry Potter. I hope to get some noble collection items like Rui and a Ravenclaw's diadem since I am a Ravenclaw. Whitby on measure is man's greatest treasure. 
Keep up the good collecting. Sincerely, Zane. Zane, thank you so much for writing, and I hope that one day Rowena Ravenclaw's diadem finds itself in your collection. Now, this wasn't sent to me, but it was something I wanted to show you. It was given to me and done by my cousin, Nicole, and you've seen Nicole in past Potter Collector videos before. But look at this, isn't this beautiful? I just had to share it with you guys. Hogwarts will always be there to welcome you home. And then she did a picture of Hogwarts. All right, there are a few letters left. This one is from Canada. Thestrals, I love Thestrals. I am writing on this paper, which is from the company culturefly.com. You should make a video on it. Well, this is a very cool little postcard right here. So thank you so much for sending this. We have something from Maryland from Miss Shelby. And it's a card that says Dumbledore's Sherbert Lemons Pleasantly Tart. 2020 certainly isn't going according to plan, and since I cannot say hello to my friends in person, a letter will have to do for now. I hope things are looking up for you and that you are safe and happy. Your Florida visit looks like loads of fun. I hope you enjoy your time back there and wish you safe travels. Cheers, friend. Take care, Shelby. Well, thank you, Shelby. Shelby is one of the tipsy wizards on Instagram, also the half that I have not met yet. So we need to meet in person once COVID is, is done. Shelby is also a fellow Slytherin. All right, we've got something from Julia in New Jersey with lots of Harry Potter stickers on it. My name is Julie and I just turned 30. I've been a Harry Potter fan since late 1999 and I enjoy your videos. As an 11 year old, I would have preferred a female head of house. So I think that I would have been more comfortable in Hufflepuff. My third grade teacher was quite stern like McGonagall and I did well in her class, but Sprout seems to be more approachable if I were to have a problem. Probably very true. Also, the Hufflepuff common room is close to the Great Hall, so I wouldn't be getting lost on my way to breakfast. I am ambitious, but Snape would have terrified 11 year old me. I think he still terrifies those older than 11 years old. Thank you for your wonderful videos. P.S. Order of the Phoenix is actually my favorite book in the series because I'm fascinated with the veil in the Department of Mysteries. All right, we've got something from England. My name is Elliot and I am nine years old. I live in England. I love your videos and I especially love the Wizarding Trunk unboxing. I've recently broken my arm, so my mom is having to write this letter for me. Well, you need some Skelgro to fix that arm of yours. My favorite book is The Prisoner of Azkaban and my favorite movie is Half-Blood Prince. I'm going to watch Deathly Hollows Part 2 tomorrow. Best wishes, Elliot in Kent, England. Elliot, I hope your arm is mended very quickly. We've got something from Tennessee. How fun, it's another one of those cards. Look at that. And it's addressed to Peter Kenneth at the Potter Collector Library. And this is from Hannah. I am a 12 year old Ravenclaw and I love watching your videos. I've been a Harry Potter fan since I could understand what was going on in the movies. But when I started reading the books, I loved Harry Potter a hundred times more. There's so much more in the books than there are in the movies. My favorite item in my collection is Hermione's illuminating tip wand. I absolutely love your library. It brings out my inner Ravenclaw. Thank you so much for making videos. Keep collecting. Hannah. That's so kind of you to say, Hannah, and let's see what else you sent. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. We've got that written at the top here, and then some doodles of different Harry Potter related icons. Well, those are all of the letters, so thank you each and every one of you for taking the time to write. A lot of you wrote long, detailed letters, which were so fascinating to read too. I didn't want to share some of the personal information in case you didn't want that shared, but thank you so much to each and every one of you. We've got some more packages to open up, so let's grab them. All right, we've got something from Trendsetters. It is. Oh, cool. It's a sorting hat keychain that's customized, so it says Slytherin, and then on the bottom it has my name. I think this is actually from my friend Carly from All the Pretty Books. She had mentioned that an item was sent, and I think this is from you, Carly. Thank you so much. All right, we have something from Amber in Florida. Take a look at the card. I hope my owl had a good trip and that everything got to you safe. I hope you enjoy having this gift, and I hope they make good extras for you. Well, let's see what these are. 
These are mystery minis. This is so fun. So Amber sent these to include in a future powder collector sale. When I do powder collector sales, I usually try to add something extra to your order. So in the next sale, these will be put aside and may show up in your package without you knowing. So everyone thank Amber for her kindness and for whoever receives one of these, you will now know they came from Amber. All four of the Triwizard Champions. Here is something from Cora in North Carolina. It's a little Harry Potter Lego figure. Let's see what the letter says. I found your channel a few months ago and love your channel. Because of your channel, I found out about Wizard's Vault boxes and got one for my birthday. Very cool. I am a Ravenclaw, but am part Hufflepuff and my favorite character is Ron. I've only read up to the fifth book and can't wait to read the last two. And Cora included a picture of Harry Potter himself. Cora Laura, thank you for the little Lego figure, and I hope that you get to those last two books. They're fantastic. You are going to love them. This is from Amber in Florida. Very cool postcard. Check that out. I hope my owl got to you. He can be a bit clumsy sometimes. I think he is brothers with Errol. Anyway, I hope that you are able to give these to people who will put them to good use, as they are doubles for me. So Amber reached out again and sent some more items. I don't remember which ones she sent first, but they are mystery wands, the die cast mystery wands. So again, Potter Collector Sale, which will happen in February of 2021, you may receive some of these extra items in your order. All right, we've got something here. What is this? This is from Emily. I hope you like the art. Both hand drawn and painted by myself. I'm also a Harry Potter YouTuber and collector. My channel is called Lushlia. I always look forward to your videos and they add a little bit of magic to my day. Beautiful, look at this. This is me as Dumbledore, painted version too. So I had this picture taken of me and Emily decided to do a doodle of it and it's gorgeous. And then this painted version too. I love this. This is so cool. You can find that picture on Instagram. So check out the Potter Collector Instagram and see this picture. That's awesome. I love these. Thank you so much. Here is something from Laura in Wisconsin. My sister's name is Laura. I'm a big fan of yours and of Harry Potter, of course. I am also a frontline worker and ER nurse and have been missing Wizarding World of Harry Potter badly. Your videos have allowed me to revisit one of my favorite places. Thank you for sharing on YouTube. Keep collecting. I saw this pin and thought of you. Another pen, awesome. While I open this, I wanna thank you for being a frontline worker and nurse, especially during this time. Hey, I saw this pin somewhere. I saw this on Instagram and thought it was very cool. Awesome, Muggleborn Sisters, and it's the Goblet of Fire. And then on the front, it says, he asked calmly. That is so cool. Again, I saw this and thought that was a fun pin. And now here it is. So thank you very much. All right, what is this from Dan? Daniel in California. It is artwork of a bow truckle. Look at that, love it. And then it says, I made this using a video in wizardingworld.com. I am a 12 year old boy who lives in Campbell, California, and I love watching your videos while I am stuck at home. I can't wait for your next video. I'm a Gryffindor and I have a spruce wood dragon heartstring wand that is surprisingly swishy in flexibility. I have a question. How do you get enough money to buy a ton of Harry Potter books, merchandise, and boxes? Well, I work very hard at my job. I don't just buy books and make YouTube videos. I have a full-time job that's actually in computers, and I also wait for bargains to show up. I don't just buy things at full price. So that's a little tip for collecting, is to wait for something that you're looking for to show up at a really good price, like on eBay or something like that. And then on the back is the Hogwarts crest, and they say, don't worry, it's an eagle. That's the way to do the Hogwarts crest. All right, we have something from Florida. More wands. Look at these cool wands. Oh, I love them. They look so cool. Here is some Harry Potter artwork. Hello, and how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm a proud Slytherin too. My name is Brody, and I'm eight years old, and I started reading Harry Potter when I was five. My favorite video was when you showed the oddest Harry Potter covers. That one was so funny. I already have the Slytherin locket and the Hufflepuff cup. My sister is a Hufflepuff. I hope you are well. 
keep collecting. Well, thank you so much for this artwork. Those wands, these are so cool. And for your letter. All right, we've got something from India and it is some awesome, awesome artwork. Oh my goodness. This says, read me first. So I'm gonna read this. Hope you're doing very well during this COVID situation. Lots of love from India. Congratulations on 300,000 subscribers. Can't wait for the day when we will be celebrating a million Potter Collector subscribers. In India, there are not a lot of shops that sell Harry Potter merch or stationery, like Target, Walmart, etc. And also we don't have Universal Studios. So the only merch that I can get is from online shopping. You are a brother and friend figure to us introverts. By the way, I am a Ravenclaw and a Pukwudgie. What is your Ilvermorny house? I am also a Pukwudgie. Keep collecting, magically yours. So I actually got a preview of this artwork and did send, oh my gosh. As I was saying, I did get a preview of this artwork and posted it on my Instagram account. If you wanna see more of this artwork, it's at the underscore at Titia underscore who underscore lived on Instagram, A-D-I-T-Y-A. -I -I but what I just saw, and I've seen this, this piece already on your Instagram account. So I saw this piece on your Instagram and I wanted it. I would never ask for it and you didn't know that. And here it is sitting in the Potter Collector Library. Everyone else who sees this, you're gonna love this too. Look at this artwork. Look at that. It is so beautiful and well done. I love the whole style of it. I can't believe you sent this to me. And then also sent along is something for Mama Potter Collector, a portrait of Mama Potter Collector, the Hufflepuff herself, and yours truly, the Slytherin himself, Peter Kenneth, the Potter Collector. And this is a great surprise. I'm blown away by this. All right, there are four packages left. That was a big unboxing. Oh, that's an awesome looking card. Love that artwork. This reminds me of the Bulgarian artwork a little bit. Dear Peter, my name is Harry. I hope you like my drawing from Harry. Love that, I love your drawing. I think it's fantastic. And then we have a note in here. My six-year-old son Harry is your biggest fan. He drew the picture of Voldemort for you. He hopes you like it. I do indeed like it. I just want you to know how much our entire family enjoys your work. We appreciate all that you do and the thoughtful manner in which you do it. Thank you for saying that. We've learned so much about Harry Potter and the content is delivered in a way that our six-year-old watches too. That's a tall task. Warmly the Kane family. Well, thank you very much for that note. And thank you for sending along Harry's artwork. We have something from Australia. What is this? Poster and postcard set. What? Look at these fun postcards. Love that one. And this says Snape's back. This is from Celia. I love watching your videos and thank you so much for sharing the magic. Your recent trading card video reminded me of these postcards that my local newspaper released in 2011. I thought you may find good use of them and feel free to pass them along as well. I read somewhere that you also collect fossils. Very true. I hope you enjoy the fossil themed stamps. I'm a stamp collector myself too. Well, thank you for sending these. I do indeed collect fossils and love fossils, love the stamps and love the postcards that the stamps are on. Let's see, they're in multiple days too. And then there's posters. Let's open up day three. So there are these mini little postcards. This is way too cool. Okay, look at this. And then on the back, you can actually send them. These would make really good Valentines as well. And then there's a poster for each of the days. So Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part one, all the way up to day 14, no 15, day 15. This is awesome. Thank you for shipping these from Australia. And yes, I will definitely put good use to them. All right, we've got a box here. It says, please open on July 31st. I'm a little late for that, unfortunately. Ooh, fun, look at these fun packages. All right, open me first. Very well designed box. Wow, there's some awesome stuff in here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this envelope. It says, P.S. I hope that I put enough stamps on it. Molly Weasley. So this is a book reference to when Harry received a letter and there were tons of stamps on it because the Weasleys didn't know how many stamps to put on it. That is so funny. I'm gonna put this up top of my shelves because this is really creative. Fun letter right here. It's multiple pages, but I'm gonna read the first portion. I would like to thank you so much for the great facts and fun videos. I hope that the envelope full of stamps that is inspired by Mrs. Weasley's invitation is a good add to your library. Indeed it is, I just said that I would be using it. We have a keychain, and the keychain is a galleon. 
Then there's a button here, a SPEW button, S-P-E-W, Society for the Promotion of Elfish Welfare. Oh my goodness, this, this is a journal from out of print, I think, right? Which features the artwork by Mary Graham Prey for Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. This is beautiful, thank you so much. I don't have one of these, and look at this bookmark. It's a key bookmark for your journal, so you can lock up your journal. Is this a pen? It is a pen, oh my gosh. I love this, this is fantastic. All right, then we open this next. Oh my goodness. Also from out of print. Dobby's socks. So these are the socks that Dobby received for Christmas. One sock has broomsticks on it and the other has snitches on it. And this was of course a book reference. Thank you so much, this is amazing. These are awesome items. And this, especially with the Christmas season coming up, I'm excited to wear. Open me last. Niffler do-it-yourself paper model. Okay, that is awesome, holy cow. It has instructions and each different paper you cut out and it shows you how to fold the Niffler and then tells you what color to color and the different pieces in. This is gonna be a fun like Saturday afternoon project to do. And I'm sorry that I didn't open it on Harry Potter's birthday, but I have opened it now. So better late than never. And last but not least is a package from Alexis and Naomi in Ohio. I am Lexi and I just got into Harry Potter this past March. I'm obsessed. I'm 14 years old and I've written to you before, but as of right now, I don't think my owl made it to you. It did make it to me. And as you saw earlier, I did open it up, but I've just been very behind on my PO box unboxings. So this is your second letter to me. The Wizarding World and your funny videos make every day better. I'm going to Wizarding World this year and I really hope I see you. I honestly think I understand charms more than math. Probably the same for me too. What is your Patronus? It's a raven. What is your biggest Harry Potter dream? My biggest Harry Potter dream is to open up the Potter Collector Museum. Hope the owl finds his way from Lexi. And then we've got another letter here with a fun golden star sticker closing it shut. Dear Potter Collector, I am Naomi. I'm seven years old. I love your videos and they inspire me. I'm reading the first book and my favorite character is Hermione. What is your favorite thing in Harry Potter? Probably Hogwarts. I just love Hogwarts and just the thought of being able to go to Hogwarts and experience all that magic. P.S. The bird bites. Oh, thank goodness the bird already left because I got scared for a second that he was gonna bite me. Looks like a fun little box right here. Very well decorated, nice artwork. Love all the stickers. The buttons are very cool touch. Let's see, oh, okay. We've got wands, you guys. We have got wands. The snake wand, which is 13 inches. Wood is oak, dragon heartstring, and that's from Lexi. Here is the snake wand. Look at that. We've got a snake coiled around the wand itself. Then we have the leafy firewood wand, which is elm and leaves, and the core is phoenix feather. And this was made by Lexi and Naomi's friend. And then we have the green tipped wand, which has a wood of holly, and the core is unicorn hair. And then they also included a silver feather. Very fancy feather right here. Thank you to both of you for those wands and for your letters. Well, that is the end of this P.O. Box unboxing. Thank you once again to each and every one of you who took the time to send something, to make something, to draw me, to write a letter, to send that letter. It was great to hear from you, and I hope that you all have a very magical rest of your year. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector, or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?